Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com, coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. Today, I'm going to be sharing the mirror technique with you. This is going to be a project for my online technique club. I'll get into the details of that as I'm creating this super adorable card. I'm excited to be using the new Hearts and Hugs bundle. This is coming out May 1st, Wednesday, with our new annual catalog. So lots of fun in store with this video. Let's flip the camera around to get started. First things first, I'm going to show you all of the supplies that I use to make this card. I've got the brand new Hearts and Hugs bundle. Super cute. These are some great sentiments in here with some really fun little images. And then we've got some fantastic dies in here that aren't part of the stamp set. These hearts we'll be using. We've got some flowers and grass here, some little hearts, some some individual flowers, and also a nice banner in here, as well as the outlines for the various uh, animals in the stamp set. So I love it when Stampin' Up! puts in some extra elements in the dies for us. We're also going to be using a silicone craft sheet. This is instrumental in doing the mirroring technique. I've got linen thread here, Wink of Stella, I've got a couple colors of our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. This one is our brand new dark, dark and light Petunia Pop. And then we've also got the brand new Pretty in Pink in dark and light. I think I'm only going to use one of each color. Tuxedo Black ink, as well as Petunia Pop. I've got some rhinestones here. My basic tools over here. And I'm going to be using a piercing mat. This is what I like to use for videos. This is my stamping surface. I've wrapped it with some printer weight paper and just taped it on with scotch tape. That keeps my desk clean and it gives you that little added cush. And again, this is called a piercing mat. Okay, let's get started on our card. I'm going to bring in all of our cardstock layers we have a Petunia Pop. Again, this is our brand new in color. The in colors this year are so pretty. So we've got five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored that at four and a quarter. I've got a basic white layer for the inside that's four by five and a quarter. A basic black layer for the front that's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Another basic white that's three and a half by four and three quarters. I've got a little piece of that petunia pop. This is three quarters by two. And this, ooh, this is so pretty. This is our brand new glimmer paper. It is in all five of our in colors. Look at how pretty this is. Everybody loves a glimmer paper. The nice part about this paper is that it doesn't shed any glitter, so it's not messy at all. Absolutely love this. So I've got a piece of that in, mm, did I write this down? Yes, one by three on the size there. Then I've got a quarter inch strip by five and a quarter. This is for our inside decoration. I've also got a medium basic white envelope here. And I took some of our new in-color paper. This is so pretty. Of course, it's Petunia Pop, two and a half by six, so that I can decorate my envelope. And as long as I'm there, I'll share with you all the beautiful patterns in our in-color paper this season. Now, these last for two years. This comes in a six by six pack. You get four sheets of each pattern. And we're gonna start out with our pretty in pink here. Look how pretty this is, pretty in pink. And then we've got our peach pie. And again, the same pattern as the pretty in pink, but only in peach pie. Next, we have our shy shamrock. Our petunia pop. and then our Summer Splash. And again, you get four sheets of each of these in six by six, starting on Wednesday, May 1st. 
of our 2024-2026 in colors. Now, along with our new in color line, we have ribbon that matches. We have a set of markers that match. We have all the ink pads that match. Designer series paper. You can buy cardstock in solid packs or in an assorted pack with all of these colors in it. There's embellishments, so many fun things. These will be around for two years. So it is Stampin' Up's, Stampin Up's way of being able to introduce new colors every year and each set lasts two years. So next year we'll get another set of new in colors. It's a way for them to stay um, very trendy in their color selection. So whatever is popular, we're gonna have it. And I love that. All right, we're gonna get started with our technique right away. I'm gonna take that smaller piece of the basic white paper and also my silicone craft sheet. And to do this mirror stamping technique, we're gonna grab our Memento ink. Let me bring my stamps in here that I have mounted and ready to go. I've got that cute little mouse that's holding a heart here. And I'm going to stamp that on my silicone craft sheet. And I'm just gonna stamp it right down here in the corner. Now you don't wanna mess around too long. We're going to bring our basic white cardstock in here and we're gonna give that a nice, even, firm um, rub down, I guess is a good way to put it. And we're gonna pick that up. So now we have our cute little mouse here on this side. When you're doing the mirror image, you want to choose images that are facing one way or the other, so left or right, and then you can mirror them so that they're facing away from each other or they're facing towards each other. Now you'll notice that I stamped my mirrored image first because when you push that down on your paper, you really can't see what's going on. If you do that one first, then when you get ready to stamp, you will have a little better view right, of where you want to stamp your mirrored image. So here's our cute little mice. The next thing that I'm going to do is bring in the dies that go with this super cute stamp set. And I am going to die cut some hearts right out of the front of my layer. Can you guys hear the thunder outside? We've got quite a storm going on here, which is kind of cool. I love a summer storm. I'm going to die cut this and I will be right back. And here comes that layer with those hearts die cut. You also get all the hearts, so you can use those for something if you would like. I'm not going to for this card, but it is certain, certainly an option. And as long as we're here with our ink out, I'm going to do the rest of my stamping. So I've got the sentiment here that says sending a big hug. This is gonna go on that three quarter by two inch piece of petunia pop. Oh, and that turned out really good and it's straight. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. Now it's pouring rain outside, you guys. Wow. April 30th, or uh, I'm sorry, April 29th, and we're getting quite the rainstorm, which is pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to summer, so I'm not going to lie. Okay, I've got on the front sending a big hug. The inside is going to say, so it's there when you need it. And I just love these types of sentiments. I stamp that with a memento black ink. And now I'm going to grab that petunia pop and these little hearts that come in the set. And I'm just going to stamp a couple sets of those here. And then while we're at it, let's bring in that envelope. I'm gonna just move this out of the way. And we're gonna stamp some of those hearts right on this envelope. And I just think that dresses things up a little bit. No naked envelopes, no naked insides on my cards. Okay, we'll set that aside. I set this in place for a dry fit so that I would know where to put the sentiment on the inside of my, on my inside layer. And I always like to do that. I don't like to glue anything down until I'm done stamping because if I would have messed that up or didn't stamp it complete or it was crooked, I would be able to turn that over easily and continue trying to get it right. 
And if you glue things together first, then you have to start tearing things apart or pitch it and start a new one, right? So it's always just a good habit to glue things down after the stamping is done. So we're gonna fold this in half. I'm going to burnish that edge good with my bone folder. And we can get this right on the inside of our card. I'm using the multi-purpose liquid glue. I really like the liquid glue. Number one, it goes a long ways. Number two, it gives you wiggle room. If you need to move something a little bit, that's always nice. Okay, here comes our black layer. And now we're going to take that glimmer paper and we're going to attach it behind our hearts. And isn't that just spectacular? I love this look. So I'm gonna add that right over the hearts. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of tape to hold it in place. And now I can adhere this to my black layer. And we've just got that tiny little border popping out. And this is what really makes your cards pop when you use some type of a very, a, a lot of contrast on the layer, under the layer, I should say. And we can put this right on the front. Now, when I was designing this card, I thought, mm, I need something up at the top there. And I was gonna go with a couple different options. There's a banner in here, and I thought, well, I could do a banner. And that's not really the look I was looking for. So that's when I came up with this little like sign. It's kind of like a sign. So what I decided to do with that is grab my bow jig and some linen thread. And I have these for sale if you're in the US. They're only $10, that includes tax and shipping. Um, I don't make any money on this, on these bow jigs, but they're super nice if you need help tying bows, and I love using them. So I've got a piece of linen thread. I'm gonna wrap this around twice, and now I'm going to tie a bow and it gives you a perfect bow every time. I do have a video that I email out when you order one of these from me that has a bunch of different um, bows that you can make with it, various um, ribbons and linen threads, stuff like that. Just some different ideas. So now we've got this cute little bow here. And what I decided to do with that is to put it on the back of this like little sign, kind of a little sign. I guess that's what I decided to call it. So I'm gonna put it so that it's tight up against, the knot is tight up against, oops, hang on, my watch has a magnet on it and it grabs my dies. And I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and secure that linen thread in place. So this is what I have and I thought that would be really cute on here. So we're gonna add some dimensionals, pop this little sign up. And I'm using my take your pick tool to pop the back off of there. I like to use that. My nails don't always work good for that. And we're gonna put this right in place here. And I'm just centering it right on my card. You can kind of finagle this around a little bit so it looks nice. Isn't that cute? Now. Last thing I want to do here is I'm going to grab the petunia, the light petunia pop, and I'm going to color in my heart. I'm not going to do any shading on this because it's a pretty small area, although you certainly could if you wanted with these alcohol markers. They're just so nice for that. And I'm just going to color both of these in. And then I've got the light pretty in pink, and I'm just gonna give that mouse a little color in those ears and also on the nose. And we're gonna add a little Wink of Stella to our hearts. And I know this is really hard for you to see this in the camera on a video, but trust me when I say it puts on that little bit of glimmer that makes these little hearts magical. Let me see if I can 
get that look in there. Isn't that sweet? I decided not to use any embellishments on this card because we've got the hearts there with the glimmer. We've got the wink of Stella. I just didn't really feel like I needed to add embellishments. Last but not least, we're going to take that envelope. This is my two and a half by six inch piece of the new in color designer series paper and this is the petunia pop to match our card base and our markers and I'm just going to add some glue on here and put this on my envelope now I like to kind of pick this up quick and make that make sure that I've got it pushed all the way up to the top and of course with that liquid glue you get that wiggle room where you can slide it for a little bit and I use the flap as a guide. It's my template to cut the designer series paper. Here's my envelope flap. Isn't that pretty? Here's my card. Absolutely love this. This is going to look great. Sending a big hug so it's there when you need it. What a great card, right? Now let me talk to you a little bit about my technique club let me clean up some of this stuff here so we've got some room by the way this is my current host code if you would like to place an order with me i always appreciate your orders use this code if your order is under 150 dollars. if it's over 150 dollars, don't use the code you're going to get rewards from stampin up and i definitely want you to have those but i appreciate the code that's what allows me to um draw names for door prizes and stuff like that. Now, this is my online technique club. So all of the people who have registered to be in the club will get not only this card in the mail, completely made, but also an instruction sheet that tells them the steps on how to make a mirror stamping technique card, okay? You can see we've got the sample on here. This is the actual sample few instructions, the date where they can go back to my blog at www.estampabove.com and find a video showing them exactly how to do it. Most of my, um, I shouldn't say most, all of my Technique Club members really enjoy having a little packet of these Technique instructions. So let me show you what some of these others look like. Here's another one that we did back in February. And this is a fun foam technique. So it shows how I used fun foam to stamp these, um, what do they call it? Her uh, herring, no, it's not herringbone. Mm, chevron, chevron images using fun foam that was cut from dyes in this Easter stamp set. And of course the completed card. Here's another one. This was shadow stamping. So we've got the shadow stamping technique here from January and a beautiful card that uses that technique. Each person in the technique club gets not only this, but they also get the card using the technique. Here's another one. This was stamping outside the box. And then I've got a little sample here of the kissing technique. So we use the little pickup truck and we kissed it with, I believe, an embossing folder. You can do it with a folder or a stamp and did that technique. Now each month, my Technique Club members place a minimum $25 order with me. Let me get these out of the way here. And they use the host code that I put on my blog. It can be found absolutely anytime. They have to use the host code. They place a minimum $25 order with me and I send them the card and the technique instruction sheet. Now at the end of six consecutive months of being in the online technique club, they get a $30 credit from me to spend on anything they want. This is going to be changing. Um, Stampin' Up! is changing their host rewards and I will be changing the program at that time. But as long as it's still in place, that is exactly what is going to happen with Online Technique Club members. Regardless, minimum $25 order, you get this every month. Instruction sheet and a card. The one question that I get asked frequently is, well, I am a demonstrator. I am a discount shopper already. 
that's fine. I have a lot of discount shoppers or demonstrators that are in my online, online technique club. All you do is place the order through me using my host code and you get the same benefits as people who are not demonstrators. So that's definitely doable. If you need help doing that, let me know. Um, it involves choosing to view the customer side of the Stampin' Up! website. If you don't know how to do it, I'm happy to help you do that. You also get the current catalogs from me as long as you're a member of the Online Technique Club. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help. I also wanted to share these cards that I made uh, about a week ago. This is also the mirror stamping technique. This bird was mirrored on these cards. So I did the same exact technique that I used here with these. These use the bird's eye view stamp set, super cute stamp set to do the same thing. Please make sure you click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. I will have all the dimensions, all the ingredients listed on my blog for this project. When you click right up here, that's going to take you right over to my blog. There's also a link under this video for the Online Technique Club. You can go right there and see all the details. All you have to do is pop me an email and say, Kelly, I would like to join your Online Technique Club. I'll get you signed up. You'll also find shopping links below this video and on my blog here. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. This is the current, I should say, this is the annual catalog coming out on Wednesday, May 1st. Super excited about this one. So many fun new products in here. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. And I would be happy to mail this. Don't forget to include your address so I can get that off in the mail to you right away. These are arriving all over the country right now because they are brand new. You guys have yourselves a wonderful Monday. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye-bye.